don't know what's going on. Well, hello. I'm in Dar es Salaam in Tanzania. Home, of course, to Air Tanzania. I was hoping to get a lovely view over the city behind me, but you can't really see it because it's kind of three o'clock in the morning. Um, today, I'm taking a ride with Air Tanzania, who have got some new planes. They've not long ago had some brand new Airbus A220s delivered, and Air Tanzania are the first airline in Africa to operate the A220. So I've decided I'm gonna head along and try and take a ride with one today, and we're heading across from here in Dar es Salaam on the east coast of Tanzania, right to the other side, to a place called Mwanza on the shores of Lake Victoria, which is gonna be incredible. So let's head across to the airport here at Dar es Salaam and come with me as we take a ride on Air Tanzania's A220. Right, let's go. It's so early. Thank you. See you later. Thank you. The drive to the airport takes about 20 minutes from Dar es Salaam in clear traffic, but in rush hour it can take over an hour and a half. Right, at this time you. of the morning though, it Have wasn't day, long sir. before we thank arrived you. at Dar's yeah, Terminal 2, which you. is pretty old and crowded. All domestic flights leave from here, with the exception of coastal airlines who have their own terminal. Only business class, yeah. economy class, please you have to queue in the... Economy class, you have any business class. Thank you. Good morning. I'm oh, good, thank you. How are you? I'm doing my ones. Uh, yeah. Thank you. All right, thank you. Bye bye. Thank Can I get a black coffee, please, or Americano? Yes. Would you like something to snack on? Uh, I'm good, thank you. I'm good at the moment, yes. It's too early. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> thank you very much. Yeah. Thank you, sir. Yeah. Mm, coffee. There doesn't seem to be a lounge here at Dar's domestic terminal for business class. Um, you can't really expect it. It's quite a small airport here, um, to be honest. So I've just come and grabbed a coffee. We'll be boarding in about sort of half an hour, maybe. Yeah, it's pretty quiet at this time of the morning. Dar Airport is relatively basic, there's not a lot here um, in Terminal 2 at least. Um, I think Terminal 3 is the new one, I think they've got better facilities there, but here is just a really basic sort of building really. That's okay. We've only got another half an hour or so and then we'll be boarding the A220 across to Mwanza. So every flight here at Terminal 2 says that it goes from gate 5. I mean there's like 8 gates, why gate 5? I don't know. I presume they're not all going to go from 8 5 because otherwise everybody kind of be at the same place at the same time. This gate 5 must be incredible. Excuse me, uh, no, Mwanza. Mwanza. Okay, Dodoma. Okay. So it seems they really are using one gate for all of the flights. Um, it's a little bit chaotic. So I think they're boarding to Doma, but there's like another five flights to go and they're all going to go sort of from the same area. But there's loads and they're not really announcing where they're going to. So every time I go, they just tell me no, it's not time for my flight yet. So. <laughs> Hi, Mwanza? No, Precision Air. Oh, Precision Air. Yeah. Okay, right. Hey. I don't know what's going on. They keep calling on flight and then you get there and then it's like, oh no, it's a different airline. Um, every flight seems to be going from gate five. <laughs> Have a good clue. Something's happening at gate three. Let's see if this is us. Morning, hi. Thank you. Gate five. <laughs> Magic gate five. Good morning, sir. Good morning. Should be. Yeah. Let's take control. 
Thank you. Thank you. Tanzania also have Boeing 787 Dreamliners based here at Dar, which are operated on some of the longer routes. Our route today then took us northwest from Dar es Salaam across Tanzania to Mwanza. Flight time today was 1 hour and 17 minutes, cruising at 36,000 feet. The cabin on the A220 is pretty light and airy thanks to those huge windows, and the seats are pretty comfy too. It wasn't long before the crew came around with the breakfast service. So airborne out of Dar es Salaam on the Air Tanzania A220 and breakfast has arrived. Um, but you get a bit of a breakfast box and a coffee. Let's have a look. So we have a little muffin and cashew nuts and fruit juice. It's okay for an hour long flight. Domestic here in Tanzania it's not too bad really. I should have a bite to eat. So the seat then, and I don't think it's going to be winning any style awards, but it's pretty comfy all the same. Um, it's got everything you need as well, loads of leg room. The table obviously popped out for my breakfast from the side. There's power and things down here. So we've got um, three pin plugs and USB ports here as well. A little bit of storage there. back down. Footrest pops down like so. Other than that, pretty decent really considering this is just an hour long flight but they do use these aircraft on much longer flights. I think the plan is for them to send them down to South Africa and across to even Mumbai in India as well um, which is quite a long flight on one of these. If it was a long flight like that I'd probably want to take something like a Dreamliner over the A220 I suppose but um, that's just me. Um, let me know what your thoughts are down below on that whether you wouldn't mind flying on the A220 for a five six hour flight. But certainly for domestic flights here in Tanzania and the short haul routes they do down to like Malawi and stuff, it's pretty decent. And it certainly beats European business class on um, the airlines over in Europe that fly the A220. Um, even Swiss, my favourite airline that operate the A220 in um, Europe, their business class isn't as nice as this. I think they just have um, a standard seating arrangement all the way through the cabin. Whereas Air Tanzania, quite old school and they have a, still a separate business class cabin with 2-2 two -two seating which is quite nice. The 
overhead screens that are commonplace on most A220s were turned off on this aircraft, which seemed a bit of a wasted opportunity when they could have just put the flight map on. Before too long, we started our descent over Lake Victoria into a rainy Moanza. Today cost me 151 pounds or 204 US dollars, working out at 29 pence per mile. Air Tanzania were pretty impressive for such a short flight. Compared to some of the other aircraft used on these domestic flights in Africa, the A220 is a really great way to fly. It really is great to see African airlines like Air Tanzania leading the way with modern aircraft like the A220. African aviation historically doesn't tend to have the greatest reputation, but by bringing in brand new modern aircraft it's clear to see airlines like Air Tanzania are making huge steps to improve that image. The world of African aviation is really exciting right now and I for one can't wait to see what's happening next. the way that rock's been perched on top of that lot there. Crazy, must have taken a hundred men or more to do that. Well welcome then to Mwanza on the shores of Lake Victoria. Over that way somewhere is Uganda, further up the coast is Kenya. I hope you've enjoyed this video and enjoyed seeing what Air Tanzania's Airbus A220 is like. I've got a little bit of time here in Mwanza now before I head back to Dar es Salaam so I'll go and have a look around but let me know what you thought of this video down below. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button as well um, so you don't miss any of my videos coming forward. But in the meantime, as always, thanks for watching. Take care and I'll see you on the next one.